Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here and I think it's time for another full LEGO City update. Starting right here in the amusement park where we have all four Creator Expert rides fully operational along with the Disney train and station. Right here, this is the Mixer, this is the oldest ride in the amusement park and you can tell by the sound it creates when it spins, it's a nice creaking sound. Right over here we have the carousel. This one here has got a fresh set of batteries in it, so it's sort of going full tilt right now. Over there in the far side there, right beside the Disney train and station set, we have the Ferris wheel. I've actually recently added an IR receiver to the Ferris wheel, so now I can control the speed of the Ferris wheel by using an IR remote, which is just the typical standard train remote that you see right over there by the white high-speed passenger train. The one ride that's been a problem or sort of a trouble child here in the amusement park is the roller coaster. I've had some very challenging times with it trying to get it to operate smoothly and I finally was able to get it fully functional. And I found the trick was, was only to run one cart at a time. So I've got one sort of being loaded right now off the side and I've got the other one going around and it doesn't seem to have any problems when it's just towing one cart up the coaster at a time. I don't know what it is, but this thing's just given me a lot of trouble in, over the last uh, year or so here. So in the amusement park, there is also lots of other uh, things happening. We have a lot of different guests and scenery, including trees and flowers, a water fountain, and also some uh, concession stands like Scoops, Fruit to Go, Starbucks. And then there's also a few places where uh, minifigs can sort of hang out or watch the show, which of course is happening right below the Disney castle on its stages. And yes, Disney would never let this happen. There is two Donald Ducks on the stage. Oof, that would be a mistake at a Disney park. And let me tell you, that would never happen. So that is the amusement park as of February 2020. Guests can enter the amusement park just by boarding the train at this station right here, which is also serviced by the high-speed passenger train. Right after the amusement park, we have our downtown core of the LEGO City, which mainly consists of modular buildings. Right here we have the corner garage, beside that we have the fire brigade, and on the corner there we have Cafe Corner. Then we have a triple pet shop, I've got it as beer, post, and pets. I do want to change the colorization of those letters, still have to do that. Right over here in the corner we have a custom mock of Peter Parker's apartment, along with a pizza place. Right in beside the corner garage we have the Grand Emporium and right beside the Grand Emporium we have the newest modular building for 2020 which is the bookshop. And then on the corner there right beside the bookshop we have the downtown diner. Right there is the assembly square and beside that is the town hall. I do want to switch the position of town hall with assembly square just so that the town hall can be seen right down the street view right here. We have the Palace Cinema and also the Detective's Office and the Parisian Restaurant and just around the corner from the Palace Cinema is the Brick Bank. Beside the Brick Bank we have the Sanctum Sanctorum and then finally the last modular building which is the Green Grocer. Across from the Green Grocer we have the Ghostbusters HQ and in beside that we have the Avengers Tower. These are mini modular buildings but I've sort of made them uh, sort of my own design. I've added, uh, I've made, I've completed them giving them uh, walls on all four sides and sort of made them mini modular buildings. You have a bike shop, a deli, and a little grocery store as well. Over there by the crane I have my newest mock that I'm working on which is uh, going to be a strip mall. I have one of four buildings that I want to work on. This is the Lego store as well as an apartment or a condominium just right above that Lego store. Moving on right over here we have a few residential buildings such as the Hillside House, the Apple Tree House, and the Modern Family Home. Then there's a few mini residential buildings just right over here. Uh, two of which are custom, and one is changing seasons and a pencil pot, along with a treehouse. Eventually I want to complete my strip mall, which will take 
that whole plot and though all those little mini mod mini residential buildings will be sort of moved out of the lego city and put onto the white ikea shelving in which you see in behind the lego city with mostly all star wars sets on it right there beside or in behind the uh little RV there, actually not a little RV, it's a pretty big one, is the Octan gas station and that resides right next to the factory. The factory is something else that I want to work on. I still need to put some more interior details in that building and complete or refine some of the details on the exterior. Next to the Lego factory we have a custom built police station. I think I've rebuilt a police station four or five times here in the city known as Brickmanton. Next to that is another train station so guests can board the train here and take it around the Lego City slowly but surely around the corners through the beach around the bend and then finally go to the amusement park at the very end. In the beach, boat dock, and Ninjago district is where I've made some significant changes to the Lego City. So this is the beach here where residents can enjoy the water and go for a swim and maybe catch some rays and get a tan. I've surrounded this little beach here by a bunch of different rock panels and dark bluish gray slopes just to sort of give it effect of some water. You can also see that this whole section right here with the water area is actually on a drop table it's about uh, three inches shorter than the other tables. Right here we have the old fishing store in which I've actually decreased the gap between the boat launch and the old fishing store by half a plate. That left some room right over here where I've added a blue plate which is just some remnants of water from the rising tide and I've added a couple of the mini Ninjago buildings from the Temple of Air Jitsu. I've also connected the boat dock, so the boat dock can now be accessible from the boat launch and you can also exit that boat dock or get off the boat dock right over here in the Ninjago district. Once you get off there you can take this little stone bridge here across into uh, Ninjago City where we have Ninjago City and Ninjago City docks. One other thing is I've added the Temple of Air Jitsu just right over here in the corner. So the only way that you can board the secret temple of Air Jitsu is if you make your way across the boat docks onto the Ninjago City around back and then you uh, get there by taking the secret little path that connects the temple of Air Jitsu with Ninjago City. So those are some significant changes that I've made to the Ninjago district, the boat docks, and sort of ocean area here in the Lego City known as Brickmanton. Right here I've added a little loop where the trains can turn around or they can also switch directions. Just right in this little circular area here I've added a little campground and it definitely looks out of place. But if you've been watching my YouTube channel or are a follower of mine on Instagram you'll know that I'm working on building the treehouse and I do plan on inserting the Lego Ideas treehouse right here. And this will be the new campground which will surround that wicked looking treehouse. I still have to build that and I'll be doing that on a live stream very shortly. But I think it'll look pretty cool when I add the treehouse here and have some campers just in and around it. You'll see this ugly sheet of plywood right here which are the ramps. These ramps go all the way down beneath the Lego city and underneath the Lego table. I have to get a few more train tracks to complete these connections so that trains can once again resume going up and down from the top of the Lego City down to the bottom underneath the, where the train yard is. As I said, the roller coaster is a troublemaker and it's no longer operational. This is the train yard underneath the Lego City. This is still a work in progress. Mostly what we have under here are the brick model railroad or train kits which unfortunately are just too large to be operational in the LEGO City and even operational under here in this massive train yard. So one of the projects on my to-do list is to decrease the size of these awesome looking train kits just so they're more functional in my LEGO City and I do plan on doing that in the next week or so. So stay tuned for some more great stuff coming up here 
with Lego trains in the train yard and also the train ramps connecting the train yard underneath the Lego City with the Lego City on top of the tables. Uh, why are these fare vehicles parked in my underwater area? That doesn't make any sense, but this is my underwater area right here. I do plan on uh, working on this area in the near future as well. Just have to obtain more parts and pieces, but I think the blue plywood that I've added under here does add a nice effect, but I'll definitely be looking to improve this in the near future as well. Just gotta take it slowly, but surely, because the next project I wanna work on for sure is completing the strip mall that I've been talking about for so long. So that's really about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this update here for the Lego city known as Brickminton. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, you make sure you let me know by commenting below. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And of course, stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel in the very near future. Have yourselves a great day, build lots of Lego, and have a great time doing it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.